I, I I want to quickly talk about this. You know, uh, using uh, my favorite uh, celebrities, Bella and Shears again. So don't be surprised. I always talk about them. You know, they give me joy and they always give me something to talk about them. You understand? So without wasting your time, so let's quickly get to the business of the day. You understand? So this. Uh, Topic just got to me, you know, uh, when I was doing a research. So uh, I found out that, uh, you know, behind every successful woman, now listen to this, you know, uh, it's very important. You understand? So behind every successful woman, there is always a man that she refused to accept into her life. Okay, let me take it again. Behind every successful woman you see today, there is always a, a man that she refused to accept in her life. You understand? So I'm going to explain this. You know, there is a lot of, you know, when you, if you should take, take statistics now, there is a lot of uh, rich women today and all that. You understand? So, and when you begin to dig deep about their story, their history, you know, so you find out that there was you know a man that they refused to accept they refused to ask you know settle for less you understand so i don't blame all these men are saying that uh, i cannot get married to a, a a broke guy i cannot settle for a man that does not have money you know sometimes you know people will come out on social media they will start you know, posting that uh, I cannot get married to a pro guy. So a lot of people start attacking them. So I have never attacked them before for a reason. You understand? So, you know, everybody have a vision. There are some, a lot of women out there that have a vision of, you know, becoming rich, you know, becoming the, the most successful woman. You understand? And they wouldn't want a situation whereby they will get married to someone that will be a distraction to them. You understand? So if you have somebody like that, you are not supposed to blame that person. The person will have a plan for herself. You understand? So there is a lot of women who got married to a wrong man and they are regretting their life today. You understand? I have a friend that before she got married, you know, she have almost three shops and is moving very well immediately this person got married to one man trust me that was the day her downfall started you understand the man started you know lavishing her money you know treating the woman but a lot of things before you know it, the woman got down to zero you understand so that's why i say that behind every successful woman you see today there is always a man that she refused to accept in her life you understand it is high time you begin now to check the kind of men you are dating or you married because the kind of man in your life determines how far you as a woman will go in life let me say this again it is high time you begin now to check the kind of men you are dating or married because the kind of man you married or you are dating determine how far how successful you become in life you understand so some of you you know i i see whatever i'm telling you now is out of experience and you know, i have a friend also went back in school you understand this, this is a very beautiful woman very intelligent and smart you understand she was my classmate in school so and uh, do you know that this woman this man got married to a woman from Delta State, you understand? So and before she jumped into that marriage, she was doing well, she was doing a business, I think it's a clothing business, and yeah, that she was doing very well. Do you know that immediately this woman got married to that man? Trust me, that was the day she started experiencing failure. I don't know, I don't really know what happened. She was she told me that maybe that is spiritual sometimes. I told her no, it wasn't spiritual. Maybe the woman the man was you know extravagant trying to collect collecting your money and all that. The man was only debiting you, he was not crediting you. That was the problem. You understand? So I gave her my advice, told her, okay, 
the best thing you could do to yourself is just to let go of that man for you to recover yourself for you to you know stand back again and fix yourself fix your life together and she did exactly what i told her and trust me the the the, the woman started you know getting herself fixing her her life back and all that so you know it's not just about i love this person just i have told in my previous video i love this person i love this person i want to be with this person see let me tell you in life there are some certain things you have to let go no matter how you think you love that thing no matter how you think you love this thing or anybody is you know it got a point that you know the thing is going to destroy your life you have to let it go you understand see some men are very smart yes see let me tell you 60 percent of men you see today are very smart do you know they can go to the extent of washing your inner wear just for them to have the opportunity to get what they want from you you understand that a man is washing your inner wear doesn't mean that he's a good man yes that a man is cooking for you washing your clothes sweeping your house doesn't mean that he's a good man so i'm actually doing it just to see road and to cultivate in your farm you understand they are just clearing the glass to cultivate in your farm you know what i mean you so that that's why you have to be smarter than them you have to try as much as possible to know when such men is coming to you to know when such men is coming to your life to destroy you to take what you have labored for to take what you have suffered for you understand so you know see let me let me just say this to you you see bella you see shares see these people are, they are not taking from each other rather they are adding to each other you understand bella is adding to shares shares is adding to uh, bella and that is how it's supposed to be you understand relationship or marriage is not one-sided they are supposed to be helping each other assisting each other in time of predicament you understand in time of trouble but it is quite unfortunate that in our generation today you know marriage is one-sided relationships one side you see a man is either the man is taking from the woman or the woman is taking from the man nobody's ready to support each other you understand marriage has become something that that is personal to one person it's no longer a collective responsibility so you know stop appearing cheap before men because of shawarma you understand shawarma have taken a lot of respect a lot of dignity from we women you understand imagine when a man is taking you out every day buying you shawarma pizza ice cream you think that is all about is all about it it is not enough evidence a lot of reason for you to say that this person is good you understand so let me just list out the kind of men that you are not supposed to accept in your life wherever you are watching me i want you to bring biro and paper write it down and it's going to help you you understand these are the kind of men that you must not take serious in your life and number one is a man who always take you out to buy you shawarma and pizza you must not take this person serious in your life because the person who always end up breaking your heart the only thing the person care about you is take you out have fun with you do a lot of things from join to a hotel and all that that is the only thing he'll, he'll never ask you of your future how are you planning your future you know how is life and all that so he never cared to ask you about the only thing he care about is to just to take you out give you whatever you want you understand so number two is this a man who always take you to his friend's house will help a hotel to do to make love with you let me just put it this way you must not take that kind of person serious there are some certain men in this life that you know they have never shown you the, the place they are staying they almost take you to their friend's house from their friend's house to a hotel so you are not supposed to take this kind of people serious in your life okay number three said a man who always asks you who is calling you who is this person to you let me just break it down a man who sometimes your male friends will call you the person will start shouting who is this person what must you keep a male friends 
person let me tell you if you go to any end up with this person trust me you are going to experience heartbreak because such jealous men is not supposed to function well in their home jealousy is something that can break home instantly and so these are the men that you're not supposed to take serious in your life because if you do they will end up destroying your future you understand so look at bella and look at shares i've been seeing a lot of uh, women out there shares this even when they travel to uh, south africa for a program shares uh, took a picture with a lot of uh, women but bella did not complain you understand because she have built that trust you understand so now you're supposed to know the kind of man you are dating i get what i'm saying stay away from such men and save your future your future is very important your future is the most important thing in your life that you shouldn't joke with it no matter how you think you love this person don't trade your future with love you understand don't trade your future with love a woman without a future is just like a house without a roof you understand a woman without a future is just like a house without a roof so you shouldn't joke with your future the only thing that you have to take serious in your life is your future how to better your life how to make your life to be sweet you understand so and you shouldn't allow any man to destroy your future no matter how you think you love that person that is just the truth of your comment how is your marriage being operate over there how do you you know the, the system of uh, uh, marriage in nigeria is not the same in western world you understand so you can drop your comment and those in nigeria in uh, africa they can still drop your concern so you can compare two of them together then if you have any question we ask we can treat it in the next video all right thank you and god bless you